Hello everyone and welcome back to Timber and Stone. This episode we're going to be building down here along the water's edge yet again and I want to get this fishery done this episode. So off camera I've been a little busy going ahead and setting up some of the foundation you can see here and this is basically the setup that I want. I want to have a main like hut structure here for like large covered storage and uh, fishing supplies things like that and then we have an exposed kind of storage area here waiting to be sorted either to like a market or into the barn and other than that we just want to build a simple home now i kind of want to do this all in one episode unlike the barn which took you know four episodes to really get done and so there might be skips there might be time lapse who knows i just want to get this thing completed so that we can get progress on the town in each episode a little bit quicker than before um, as you guys can see the dock and everything is cleared out everything looks really nice right here i'm going to be adding some more wooden posts the barn you know the full roof is installed and we also have quite a bit of people at this point so what i want to do here in the initial couple minutes is just get our names out of the way now Let's see, who was the last person to be named? I believe, if we go through all the names here. Yes, so we had we stopped at Ace. So everyone basically above Ace is a named character here. And so this is all your guys. You guys are still alive, don't worry. It's been a couple days in game. No major attacks, no major loss of life. So everything is going well there. Ace is actually getting trained as an infantryman now. So if we scroll down, it looks like we have a tailor position. We have the blacksmith, which I actually have a name request specifically for the blacksmith. So let's hop over to him. Remember, these are kind of first come, first serve. So if you wanted to be the blacksmith as well, and you came second, I'm sorry, you're... You know, some, some of you do list two choices, which does help in this case. But it looks like Kevin was the first one to want to become a blacksmith. So welcome, Kevin. You are a level four blacksmith here in our wonderful village. All right. So other than that, we have Margaret. Margaret is a forager. Now, I believe if I check my list of names, there should be someone. Yes, Winston. So if we go over to Margaret here, open this up. Now I'm not going to worry too much about gender per se, specifically in the game. The gender is random, whoever joins your town. And so if I were to sit there and worry about that, that would just delay your guys' name suggestions. So in the long run, everyone's just a name on a list. Don't worry if they have tits or not. Hey, if you, if you have them, I like them. So why not? All right, so other than that, uh, looks like there is another old one. We have some fishermen now. We have increased our ranks. Uh, we have Juliet. We have Fishing Cat. Fishing Cat was named by my girlfriend, so she wanted to be a fisherman. And uh, Celeste Allen. So let's go ahead and name this one. Someone did want to become a fisherman, and it was Allen. Actually, let's just real quick. Yeah, it's still a harem, guys. I'm getting all females. There's nothing I can do about this. So, <laughs> a female named Alan. All right, there we go. Uh, some other name, uh, John Fernstrom. We don't have another infantryman just yet. We don't have a herder, an archer, or another infantry. Um, so that basically means we're just left with the people who don't want a specific job. And that's going to break down to our tailor. Here is going to be called, let's call you Richard Mongler. Now I know some of you in your joke names, Richard, short term for Richard is Dick Mongler, Dick Mongler. There you go. Brilliant, perfect, great. I love you guys. The internet, 10 out of 10 on that one uh other than that we have it looks like 
a minor name, but I believe our miner's already named. Yes, Mauricio is currently the only miner. We have a couple fishermen slots open. The engineer, did anyone want to be an engineer? Mm, not quite yet, so we'll hold off on that. And that should cover all of the names that I have written down at this point. So, there you go. Welcome to the town. Anyone who managed to snag a name and all the fishermen working, or fisherwoman at this point. Do we still really only have, okay, we have a couple dudes at this point. But really, the, the female to male ratio is a little, little high right now. All right. What I want to do is spend the first next five minutes or so real time and building up what we want to do here. And what I want for this structure is obviously another wooden framed building. Okay. Just like so, and it will be only partially covered here, I guess with walls. So if we go to walls and find something that we want to build with here, wood log we're using for the posts, full timber, probably the best, though we could use plaster. We can use timber plaster probably. You know, why don't we do that? It'll be our first timber plaster structure. And it's really just this small little amount here. All right, and up to, up to the door can be there. We'll have some exterior stuff just kind of strewn about and make this look kind of busy and a uh, little messy, which would be pretty cool. And then we will get the wood logs going across to the front, across that way. And here and here. So that's going to be a nice little temp. Hopefully, hopefully. Now this house is probably a story and a half. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to maybe include some possible workings with the deck very similar to how I want to do that with the barn eventually still a little up in the air about it I want to maybe build the structure first and then if I think it needs an extra little piece of detail I'll go ahead and add that but this is going to be one of the first fisherman homes we're going to need a couple eventually um, I wouldn't mind getting well I guess harbor side homes do look a little different I want to replace that sand I wouldn't mind just a touch of color. So we'll dig that away and go ahead and speed up time. Our total population, by the way, is up to 15 people. Up from the initial eight. And things are going great. Now, I have seen a few numbers off in the distance from uh, hostiles finding themselves in the wilderness. But it looks pretty safe. Ace, level 10. Almost at level 11. So doing really well there we are actually really low on copper which is kind of a problem and what I want to do is try and take care of that now our miner's been gathering stone which is nice I mean we have 1300 of it but what I want to do early on is kind of just look around see if there's just any exposed ore I still haven't quite decided where I want to put the official mine or anything and that's a little bit of an issue because obviously the more time we waste kind of setting that up kind of the less ore that we're going to find overall here but it looks like there's some there's a few there's some tin there's some iron this guy can mine both but I'm really looking for that copper Okay, we're about midday, day 31, there's some copper, so we'll spread that out. Now I don't need any more stone, so what I'm going to do is zip, zip on over here, 
tell him to stop working on this section because isn't that really needed? Oh, a new migrant. Would you look at that? We are now up to 16 and that's quick. And you know, that's basically means that we have a massive food supply right now. And that's pretty good. Having a good food supply, quickly expanding your capabilities is a great idea. So let's see. He is a default carpenter. What position do we have open? A trader? We don't have a trader yet. I could start trading for goods. We also don't have a herder. But I don't think we're quite ready for the herder. We don't even have a pen or anything like that just yet. We have a position for an archer and that might diversify our military. And it's a level three by default. So you know what? We'll make you an archer. There you go, and you get to be named Lucky, because Lucky is a name on my list here that wanted to be an archer, so there we go. Welcome to the town. I'll go ahead and maintain your inventory. Give you a bow. Oh, let's give you about 30 arrows. We'll go with a light chest, light boots. Let's see, what does that do for their weight? Hopefully it's okay. Yeah, perfectly fine. Leather boots, that's good. Leather boots are something that increases your movement speed. If you look at them, you know, here in the armor tab, you have uh, patents and they increase your f movement speed by 4%. Leather boots, 8% increase movement speed. So it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Uh, what I want to also do is go ahead and tell this person to train. Now, the problem with archers is that they have friendly fire. And so you want to kind of keep your archer range away from your town. And you also want to park your archer actually kind of close to the target so that, that no one really has a chance to walk in between you, them, and the target itself. And, you know, that is kind of a limitation of the archer currently. I kind of wish they're a little bit more like stone hearth archers, a little bit more accurate, a little bit more useful, but maybe in mass they would be useful. Do I want to get you to maintain a melee weapon? Yeah. Oh, Ace, congratulations, level 11. What a badass, okay. Max trainable level, so halfway to 20, and currently uh, the general of the army. Anyways, that is enough real-time stuff. Let's go ahead and go into some sped up footage, and we'll see how far we get.
All right, so welcome to day 36. I hope this kind of speed build section was all right for you. It wasn't too jarring of a thing, just because the camera angle has to kind of move around a lot to construct these things. It might look a little weird at times, but I did like to pull back and just watch the people build for a little bit and then go back in and add some more uh, layers to the structures. So what we ended up with is the finished kind of fishing area. So what we got down here, obviously is our docks. Our fishers are actually using it, which is kind of surprising because last time I did this, they didn't like it at all. Um, we got the kind of the storage shed for the fish and produce right here. And it's very small, uh, but you know, you can fit a lot of stuff inside just a tiny space like that. Um, the structure itself is large though, so you know, maybe the interior is small, yes, but you know, you do still have plenty of covered area for cargo to be put in under shelter while they move around and get ready to be stored. This is like the offloading, onloading area. Here is the little fisherman's house for now. And it is just a simple kind of T-shaped roof line. Uh, nothing too special to note on that though it does have nice little awnings over some of the double windows there so that provides a pretty interesting color break at least and another little layer onto the structure itself i've never used timber tiles as a wall piece wanted to test it out and since these structures tend to be small and not very overbearing decided that it would be a good test piece now if we scroll down and just take away you can see i haven't added any furniture in here yet though i do plan to do so tables chairs things of that nature just to make it feel a little bit more at home maybe even a little chimney so if you guys enjoyed today's episode speed build and creative process let me know in the comments down below and by leaving a like on this video go ahead and let me know if there's anyone else who wish to join our town we're up to nine nope not 19 18 total people so we have some flexibility we now have two builders and two miners so that's going to hopefully double the productivity in terms of constructing objects going forward let me know what you want to build next i'm thinking we need a mine an actual mine we need to start getting ore i need to start gearing up these people because goblins and wolves they're starting to become a problem and i can't rely on a militia forever so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video